I knew when I decorated my first cake in high school, I just kind of fell in love with the whole process. I knew right then and there, like, when I get older, <laughs> I'm going to open up a bakery that's going to specialize in wedding cake. My name is Jai Zhang. I am the founder of Amor Patisserie. My business is a bakery that specializes in wedding cake and also cake for all occasions, as well as modern dessert tables. So for a normal day for me, typically on a weekday, I will be up between six to seven in the morning. And usually then I will start taking care of um, all my order increase, emails, or anything that comes in and kind of set that tone for the day. And then and usually that takes me a couple of hours to get through. After that, I will usually take care of all of my deliveries or if I have any meetings at that time, then I'll attend to those. And then once all of that is done and I start to settle in a little bit will be when I start doing all the baking stuff that needs to get done, all the ordering. So today we're going to make um, one of my signature cakes on the menu. It is a strawberry garden tour. It consists of two layers of Korean butter sponge and then we have um, macerated um, strawberries in the, um, in the middle for filling and then it is fasted with a gently cream frosting. What we'll do first is we'll start making the gently cream and I have some um, heavy cream right here that I have already measured out and then this is my um, sugar mixture with stabilizer. And we're just gonna whip this up to about a soft medium piece. I never would have think that I would be that person where I'm just walking in the street doing my normal daily thing and people will stop me and be like, hey, you know, I think I like I recognize you, you're on the show. A dozen of America's best bakers making dreams happen here. Compete in challenges devoted to the most romantic season of the year. La la. From hooking up, how's everybody making out? <laughs> Yes, blueberry cheesecake. Uh oh. To breaking up. <gasps> I received an email from one of the uh, people that was on the show, that was hosting the show. And um, honestly, I did not think it was a real email. At first, I thought it was a scam, you know, like one of those junk mail things. And so I didn't respond to it for a couple of weeks. And then they sent me another email asking if I'd be interested to be on the show, that they came across my business online and they really liked my work and they would love for me to kind of audition for it. So after that second email, I, was, I started thinking, I was like, hmm, you know, maybe this is a real thing. <laughs> I talked it over with my friends and family just because I was on the fence about actually joining. Um, it was also on the first year that I launched my business. So a lot of things were happening at once and I didn't know if it was the right time for me. But after talking it over with them and they pretty much just kind of convinced me to go on take a shot and see where everything goes, you know? And so I decided to audition for the show and I, I got in. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gently cream into the middle. And spread, it, spread this out. And this will create the base before I put the macerated strawberries on the top. This is the perfect cake for a hot summer day, or just honestly, if you're craving for cake, you have to, you have to get this. So once we fill this up, we'll put the other layer of cake on the top. The Pong community has honestly been a really huge part of my journey. Um, I would say they were my first clientele in the very beginning. They still continue to be the majority of my clientele to this day as well. They have been super loving and supportive. And honestly, after being on the competition and the show, they have shown even more support. And um, honestly, that means so much to me. Once that's done, we'll take some of these strawberries and kind of create like a little room on the top. I gotta say, you know, throughout my whole entire baking career, my most favorite part is the decorating. <laughs> I would say for anyone who has a passion for baking or wants to get started into it, 
um, just start, you know, even if you feel like you don't know a lot of things. The beauty of baking is you learn as you go. And it's okay to make mistakes, you know, that's exactly how we get to know our product better. That's how we get to improve what we're currently doing. And um, you can never learn too much. There's always new things that's coming up and you can never add too much to what you already know.